Now in this section of the arming of Gowan, there's a lot of detail that goes on and a lot of, a lot of words that may not be familiar to us. So I want to look a little bit more closely at some of the details of the text specifically to explain what they are and also to show you that what's going on here is the arming not just for battle but also arming with all the emblems and, and imagery of the sun hero. It says here first, a carpet of tule was spread on the floor, much gold gleamed upon it. Tule is a reddish color and on that red carpet there is gold all in the carpet. So immediately we get in the arming of Gowan the colors of gold and red, the colors of the sun hero. And it says further on here, he donned a doublet of very costly Tarsian silk, then a fair cap closed in above, and with fair fur was it bound inside. Notice that bit about bound with fur in there, that this is bound with fur inside, much like what the Green Knight had. Indeed, that's a convention in the medieval era for keeping a man warm. Uh, but nevertheless, fur comes from dead animals. And so Gowan is automatically sharing in that somewhat destructive nature that the Green Knight sh showed back in Canto number one. Further in the text it says then that his steel is put on, but his steel is tied on with gold trappings, notice. Gold uh, is, is connecting the steel together. So again, the element of the sun. And then further on, it says with rich coat of armor, gold spurs he fixed with price, girt with a sword full sure. And then again in the next section, as soon as he was fully armed, his trappings were noble, and the very least latchet or loop gleamed of gold. So he gleams all with gold. His whole armor is laced with gold, the color of the sun. And as we see, when he mounts his horse, the horse also has trappings that are gold and red as well. The, uh, the cloak that's put all over the horse is red with gold, as it says here in the text. By that time his horse, Green Goulet, was geared and girt with a saddle that gleamed full gaily with many golden fringes everywhere, newly nailed and rich for the business he had in hand. The horse's bridle was striped across and across and bound with bright gold. The trappings of the horse's neck and of the proud skirts, the crupper and the covering, accorded with the saddle and were all bordered with rich red gold nails. So you see the horse is also covered in the color of gold and red. So gold and red are the dominant colors of Gowan. And those are the colors of the, of the sun hero. So see him at the very start here being an example of the sun hero. But we also notice with him that he has little designs on his, his, uh, his outfit and on the horse's outfit that also mark him as a sun hero. Notice this in the text. It was high on his head and hasped behind with a light kerchief of pleasance over the visor and embroidered and bound with the best of gems on bright silken borders and with birds on the borders, such as painted parrots at their feeding with turtles and true love knots intertwisted thickly as if many a maiden had been making it seven winters. So notice his helmet also has all this embroidery on it, but it has birds on it, much like what the Green Knight had on his with the birds and the flies and birds, all these creatures of, of, of flight that are up there in the Empyrean and in the air up above. And then it says it has, um, it has parrots and it has turtles, meaning, by the way, turtle doves, not, not turtles as in the, the, the reptile, but turtle doves, the, the, the bird. And all those bird images that surround Gowan signify that he himself is part of that realm of the birds, the realm of the sun, the realm of the sky. His very name, as it is important to note, means the falcon. Uh, he comes from a, a Welsh word, similar to Welsh word, Gwalchmai. And Gwalchmai or Gowan means the falcon. So he himself is this falcon who legend has it, can look right into the sun and not be blinded, who can see something a mile down and, and stoop in order to get it. And so he represents a certain nobility and a certain um, uh, closeness with the realm of the sun, plus his colors, color of gold, and the fact that he's setting off at the end of this solar year. Let's go back to the text here. 